Hey guys, Dirty here from Cinecam and in collaboration with Adobe, we've created an illustrated short about me getting stuck into a video game. But to make sure it didn't look flat, we've turned the 2D illustrations into a 3D scene using Adobe After Effects. So what I've got right here is a composition with a bunch of illustrator layers and the idea is to bring these layers backwards or forwards to give actual depth to the environment. Now to get started with that, we first have to enable make the layers 3D by checking this box right here next to every layer. We can now use the brand new 3D navigation tools, which I'm gonna dive more into details into a separate tutorial. For now, I wanna pick the orbit tool, which allows me to rotate my entire scene. I can use the panning tool to move my entire view. And lastly, I can also use the dolly tool to move forward or backward. So try to find a good position. Once done, I'm going to select every layer and use the blue arrow, which is the Z axis, to separate them from each other. So obviously, layers that appear in the back are getting pushed backwards, and layers that come more in the foreground are getting pushed forwards. Now while doing this, you can always go back to the 3D tools and orbit the scene around or dolly to get a better view of what you're doing. Once we're done with that, don't worry about rotating your scene back in place. We're going to create a camera object, and we can do this from the top menu, select Layer, New, Camera. Now from the dialog box, we can choose which kind of virtual camera that we want to work with. So you can change everything in here and make your dream camera. If you're unsure about these settings, then no worries, just choose any of the presets. A 50mm is a standard and will usually work. Hit OK, and instantly you'll see that your scene is changing through the lens of the camera. You can always step back out of the camera view by simply disabling the camera layer. All right, through the camera view, your layers probably are not going to be positioned correctly. Now, by selecting each layer individual, I can move them on the X or Y axis to fill up the screen. You could even go ahead and stretch the scale if needed. Mostly layers in the back are gonna need to be scaled up. If you would like to see how your scene looks in 3D, you can take one of the 3D navigation tools like the pan tool to move around and get a better sense of the depth. Do know that with an active camera, we're changing its position. When working on your scene without changing the camera, we're going to have to disable it for a moment. And this is how I've built out a 3D scene from 2D illustrations inside Adobe After Effects. I hope that you've learned something new, and if you would like to see more tutorials on the animated short that we've created, then definitely check the playlist in the description down below, where you can also find a link to the final video that I've created. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.